Hello guys, my name is Karan Patel. In this video, I will show you how you can read, write and convert image into the grayscale images and use of a weight key and take a look on a one code for saving a grayscale images. So let's get started. Hello guys, so first of all, open Jupyter Notebook and uh, import these three libraries. First one is a NumPy. The second one is CV2 and the third one is Matplotlib. We use uh, NumPy for image uh, adjustment arrays and uh, CV2 to read the images and Matplotlib and CV2 both are good to plot the images. Okay, so let's see how this three library works. First of all, open Jupyter Notebook and uh, on a Google and write and uh, download this image Lana mod. Uh, so Lana name given is a standard test images is widely used in a field of image processing since 1973. Okay, so that's why we are using this image. Click on that and download it. Okay, so I download it and uh, store it here. This is Lana. PNG is a format. Go on properties. You buy PNG form. Okay. So here we are. Just write the syntax. Cv2. Dot im. Read. Is for read the images. Okay. So if you want to read the color images, then simply write cv2. Dot im read and uh, this image name. If you want to read the image in a grayscale, then simply write cv2. Dot I am read as syntax above and zero. The zero is for convert RGB image to grayscale image. Okay, so grayscale. If you don't have any idea about grayscale, grayscale is a black and white image. So just simply read this code. Whenever you want to read the images, you have to write this syntax and see. Okay, so read this. Run this code. You can't. Now we show the how you can plot the images. To plot images, cv2. Im she, im so sorry, im so command use. First of all, you have to write uh, Windows name and uh, image. Wait key. Wait key is a key that we have to press whenever we have to destroy the window. Okay. So display. The uh, CV2 display the image until you didn't press any key from your keyboard. Okay, so I write 0, 0 is for escape key. Okay, so run this command and you will see the image here. Image name, window name. Okay, so in a window name, you write this here. Uh, the, this name will present and this image is read it. Whenever I press escape key, it, this window will display. Okay, so let's uh, read the grayscale images. To read the grayscale images, you have to write the same syntaxes, same weight key, and uh, destroy all the windows. Okay, so destroy all the windows will do that. Uh, destroy all the windows that which is open by OpenCV2. Okay, like if you want uh, uh, when we are doing uh, some real-time images uh, uploading you have to destroy this kind of windows because uh, if you do not destroy the windows uh, it will automatically it will not open the next one okay so so for that you have to try to destroy all the windows so let's run to read the grayscale images okay so this one is the grayscale images i set the title image gray image gray and img underscore gray is for to read these images like this this variable here okay and whenever i press escape the window will destroy okay so this is all about the cv2 uh, what if you want to plot the image in a matplotlib okay so for that you have to uh, write this code Okay, so plot.imso img underscore gray 
is the image name that we read here. Camp is equal to gray and interpolation is a bicubic. Okay. So if you just comment this line, you cannot see 0, 100, 1200, 300, 400 and 500. So this uh, is showing us the dimension of the images. If you don't want any kind of dimension and if you want to just uh, this, then just simply uncomment this and write and run this code. So what is the difference between CV2IMSO and uh, method Levanzo? Method IMSO is not generating any kind of window so you don't have to destroy you don't have to write this syntax okay so if you want an inbuilt the read images then i recommended my problem okay so after getting the idea on a basic syntax of a cb2 and my problem to how you can uh, read the rgb images grayscale images and how you can plot this we just simply uh, write this code with this logic if you uh, if the you display image and uh, if you press escape key then it simply destroy all the windows and exit from the program and if you press s key then it save the image in a grayscale okay so to do that write this code So you get the more idea about that. Wait for us key. So just simply run this command. So I get this image, which is an RGB, which windows name is image, CV2. Okay. So if I in, a, in the first case I press escape key. Okay. So I escape and you can see in my folders there is a no file that converted into the this image into grayscale images okay so I run this command again and it at this time I press S key okay so whenever I press S key it convert image into the R grayscale and save it in my folders okay so press S key and let's check on my let's take a reference once again and here you go you get the grayscale model image okay so that's it for the tutorial guys if you have any doubt please mention it on the comment section i will cover entire open cv2 and matplotlib in this video tutorial series okay thank you